let's talk about why California native milkweed and all milkweed in general is one of the most gangster plants in the world. This is the California native showy milkweed. Look at the blooms on this shit. But milkweed, we all know it's needed for the monarchs. It's a host plant, but that's what everyone knows. That's basic. But did you know how milkweed traps honeybees, bro? <laughs> Look at this shit. So basically on the milkweed, do you see this little slit right here? That is called a stigmatic slit. The bees get their feet stuck in that slit. And what's in the slit is something called a pollinia. The pollinia is how they force the bees to pollinate them. Let's see if I can find a pollinia to show you. There should be one on his foot. You got one on your foot, bro? No, this one doesn't have on his foot. Yo, there's one right here. So this bee sadly died in the plant, but you see his face right there? That's a pollinia stuck to his face and they're stuck on his fucking feet, bro. Milkweed's fucking gangster. So the pollinia is a pollen sac because milkweed's like, bro, if you're gonna jack my fucking nectar, you're gonna pollinate me. So what happens is that pollen sac will stick to their feet. If they're able to get out, it will land in a new plant like that bee that just left and it will fit in the next flower like a key to a door, bro. Pollination is wild. And you hear the birds? The birds are chilling here because these guys that get stuck, the birds are gonna eat them. Common milkweed W for biodiversity, like always. These plants are absolutely gorgeous. I need to see these in lawns more. Stop planting that tropical milkweed. Tropical milkweed is that invasive garbage. It kills it kills the butterflies too. So it's non-native and it ends up killing the monarch butterfly caterpillars. There's a bacteria on the leaves that builds up. And since native milkweed dies down in winter, the bacteria dies. Sorry, it's not a bacteria. It's actually a parasite. I'm getting distracted by all these blooms, bro. Imagine if that was your lawn. Look at the leaves on this shit. It's so furry, bro. So the fur on this leaves is helping it retain moisture and making it not as fun to eat. It's also helping it reflect the sunlight, this bluish green color. But they honestly don't need the leaves to be furry to make things want to eat them because look, this is why it's called milkweed. You see that drip, bro? That's that milkweed drip. That's a cardiac glyphosate latex. Cardiac glyphosate latex. That's hard to say. Sorry, guys. I'm a stoner. So what that does is make things not want to eat it. But monarch butterflies over thousands of years evolved to eat that shit. And it makes the butterfly toxic. That's why milkweed's so important for the monarchs. It's the only plant they can eat. And it also makes the caterpillars toxic. So things don't eat the caterpillars. It's a double, like I said earlier, common milkweed W for biodiversity. And like I was talking about earlier, the monarch butterflies need this plant, but it's not just the monarchs and it's not just the invasive honeybees. Everything loves this plant, bro. They are biodiversity magnets, the definition of a keystone species. Look at how gorgeous these plants are.